So I wake up this morning and the first thing I do is check my phone. So I go check my phone, go into Snapchat, and I see that my politics group chat has a message. And my friend left a message there saying that Trump recently just released some JFK files uh, from the CIA about his assassination. And among those files he declassified, there is a CIA document reporting that Hitler survived after World War II and that he didn't actually commit suicide in his bunker. If this is true, this could be huge. There's been conspiracy theories for years about this, that Hitler survived after the war and that he fled to South America. This particular article says that he fled to Colombia, specifically the city of Tunia, Colombia. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. But uh, this article directly cites and quotes the CIA document, and it has a link in the article for a PDF file of the actual document. So I'm going to read the article's quotation of the document. I'm not going to read the actual document because the print is very small and it's kind of messy and old. But um, I will leave a link to this article in the description. And in that article, you can, again, I, like I said, you can click in the article to download a PDF file of the actual document to see for yourself. But anyway, here we go. Quote, Kaimlody-3, a code name, was contacted on the 29th of September 1955 by a trusted friend who served under his command in Europe and who's presently residing in Maracaibo, end quote, the acting intelligence chief in Caracas, Venezuela, sent to his supervisor days later, on October 3rd, 1955. Quote, Kaimlody-3's friend stated that during the latter part of September 1955, Philip Citroen, former German SS trooper, stated to him confidentially that Adolf Hitler is still alive, end quote. It continued, quote, Citroen commented that inasmuch as 10 years have passed since the end of World War II, the Allies could no longer prosecute Hitler as a criminal of war, end quote. So here, apparently, this Philip Citroen, former German SS trooper, was not afraid to say that Adolf Hitler was still alive because it had already been past the statute of limitations for being prosecuted as a criminal of war. So no harm could come to him or Hitler by saying that Hitler was still alive. Continuing with the reading, quote, The source thought it worthy of sending up to HQ, which is notable, end quote. A source in the Department of Defense tells me, quote, Even at the time, those guys had to do a lot of separating the wheat from the chaff, end quote. What's more, there is a purported photo, quote, on the 28th of September 1955, Kaimlody 3's friend surreptitiously obtained the photograph Kaimlody 3 referred to. On the 29th of September 1955, the photo was shown to Kaimlody 3 for purposes of getting his reaction to the possible veracity of this fantastic story. End quote. In the declassified memo, the photo was attached, showing an quote, Adolf Schrittelmeier quote, in Tunia, Colombia in 1954, seated next to a companion. Quote, the person on the left is alleged to be Citroen, and the person on the right is undoubtedly the person which Citroen claims is Hitler. The back side of the photograph contained the following data. Adolf Schrittelmeier, Tunia, Colombia, 1954, end quote. The picture they're talking about is actually in the original document. If you click on the link to the PDF file in this article and you download the document, uh, you can see the picture. The resemblance is pretty uncanny. So if these events, this memo document, CIA document talks about, actually happened in our factual, that doesn't necessarily prove every Hitler conspiracy theory correct about him fleeing, because some say he fled to Argentina and other places, and this specifically says he went to Colombia. Whether he went to Argentina before or after Colombia, it doesn't say. But from documentaries I've seen, there are several FBI and CIA files that seem to suggest that Hitler could have escaped, or did in fact escape. And the release of this official CIA memo just adds to that even more. Whether he lived very long after he escaped, whether he lived into his late, you know, 70s, 80s, or 90s, or he just, you know, he died soon after he fled, that's still uncertain and debatable. But again, just the fact that this document exists and that it was released is just extremely fascinating and interesting. If Trump released just this, it's just one document about Hitler. Just one document can reveal so much information. Imagine how many other documents the US government has about Hitler that they haven't released yet. I'm definitely optimistic for the future that there will eventually be more documents like these released that could give us more information on the historical accuracy of Hitler's death. The article goes on a little bit, but I just wanted to read to you what it specifically quotes from the document. And uh, that's it. 
I just wanted to make a short video on this because I thought it was extremely interesting. Maybe other people will find this and do more research or get interested in this or something like that, maybe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.